It's your boy the Android Doctor back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the official Android 5.0 Lollipop firmware onto the Motorola Moto G. So this is the official firmware, and I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to back up all your files, your photographs, and your videos, and whatever else, um, because this is going to totally wipe your phone clean. And the second thing you'll need to do is you'll need to unlock your bootloader. So if you don't know how to unlock your bootloader, um, you can follow my simple tutorial in the description down here. So once you've unlocked your bootloader, then you can proceed and follow the rest of this tutorial. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this website. I'll leave a link to this website with the instructions in the description down below so once you're on here you'll need to download the Motorola device manager which contains all the necessary drivers to connect to your Moto G so if you don't have these installed already um, go ahead and install them but if you followed my how to unlock the bootloader tutorial you should already have those so you can go ahead and skip number one um, so number two, you then need to download the stock firmware. So you're not going to download your stock firmware, you're going to download the stock Brazilian firmware. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below. So once you download the stock Brazilian firmware, this is it here. You're just going to make a new folder on your desktop. Then you're going to drag and drop the Brazilian firmware onto there. Right click on it and extract here. Okay, so that's done. Let's just bring back up the instructions. Okay, so once you've extracted it, you should see something like this. A folder like this okay the next thing you need to do is number four you need to download the Motorola fast boot tool you can download it from the link here So this is it, Motorola Fastboot. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to right click on that and then select Extract. And then you'll see three little files here, three little APK looking files here. Okay, so what you need to do now is you need to go back to that folder where you, where you extracted the stock Brazilian firmware. And those three files here, just copy and paste them into this folder. And now you should have something looking like this. Let's bring back up the instructions. Okay, number five, the final thing you need to do is, the final thing you need is the Android Debug Bridge Tool, ADB. Okay, so you need to download this, Minimal ADB and Fastboot, which you can get from the link here. So once you download that, it shall, it shall install 
to its default location. So navigate to the following folder on your computer. So the default location is the C program, the C drive. So So there it is, minimal ADB fastboot. And what you need to do now is all the files in here, just copy, copy all of them. Then you can close that down. Now open back up the folder where you've got the stock Brazilian firmware and just copy and paste all those files into there and this is how it should now look okay let's bring back up the instructions okay so now on your phone pull down the settings Go to about phone. And keep tapping build number until it says you are now a developer. Then it shall unlock developer options. So here at the top in developer options, make sure you turn that on. And make sure this box here is ticked USB debugging. Then turn off your device. Now what you need to do is you need to put the phone into download mode. So just press the volume down and the power button together. And then let go. And then your phone should now be in download mode. Now open up the folder with the stock firmware and in, find the blank space and right click okay find the blank space Press shift and right click until it says open command here. And then what you're going to do is bring back up the instructions and you're going to copy and paste. all of that now connect your phone to the USB cable and then this black box here just paste everything into there And now you're going to flash the stock Brazilian firmware onto the Moto G. Just be patient, it does take a while.
Okay, so just wait for it to say reboot. Then press enter on your keyboard. And now the phone should reboot. Okay, so I'm just going to finish, I'm just going to pause the video and wait for it to finish booting up, and I'll be back. Okay, so, it's finished booting up. So let's just go through this real quick. Okay. Okay, so the next step now is to download this file, which is the over the air update lollipop for the Brazilian firmware. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So once you've downloaded that, just copy. Just plug your phone in to the USB cable. And just drag and drop that file, the update, onto your SD card. Then close that down once it's finished copying over and plug your phone. Now once again we're going to go into recovery. Okay so we're going to go into recovery this time not download mode. So to do that press the volume up button plus the power button. Okay, so it hasn't gone into recovery the first time. I'm going to have to do it again. Okay, so let's try again. Volume up and the power button. Okay, guys, so I just had a bit of difficulty getting into recovery, but there's a new way um, to put the phone into recovery, so I had to figure it out. So turn off the phone. And then volume down and the power button. And then go down to where it says recovery. Press volume up. until you see the little Android guy and that red explanation sign. And then what you need to do is, is press volume up and volume down along with the power button. Keep pressing, pressing it. Come on. until it takes you into recovery and then just select apply from update 
I mean, apply update from SD card and press the power button. And go down to where it says blur version. Then press the power button. And now it should start to install. It's a bit tricky to get into the recovery mode, but just keep trying it and eventually it'll take you in. Okay, so once it's finished, it should say install from SD card complete. So just go ahead and reboot by pressing the power button. And the phone should reboot. And you'll have to go through the whole setup process again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and skip all that and come back once I've finished setting it all up. Okay, so Android is just finishing upgrading here. Okay, so this is it, the official Android 5.0 lollipop. Let's just go into the settings. About phone, and as you can see, Android version 5.0 Lollipop So yeah, this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to install the official Brazilian Android 5.0 Lollipop firmware onto the Motorola Moto G first generation. Um, everything is working. There's no bugs or anything. So yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe for more Moto, Moto G videos. Um, and also feel free to share this video on Facebook and wherever else. And thanks for watching. I'm out.